In the Abacos, steady progress is being made to remove the massive piles of debris and rubble left in the wake of Hurricane Dorian. But for the companies who are at work, removing debris comes with its challenges. Antoine Smith was in Abaco and has the latest from there. Thousands of pounds of debris sits on the 32 acres of land commonly referred to as the mud. It's a site where the Bahamas Striping Group of Companies subsidiary, Caribbean Pavement Solutions, faces the mammoth task of clearing. It's been a learning curve for us straight from day one up until now. The cleanup process officially began six weeks ago, and although steady progress is being made, clearing the debris-strewn land comes with its challenges, one of them being the terrain. They, they backfilled the mud with the, 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 the debris that they came out of the harbor and hence the area is, 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 a, is, a, is worse than swamp land and whenever it rains it, it becomes mucky. So with our heavy equipment having the weight that they does and, and driving over it, they tend to, to sink, sink within, the, within, the, uh, uh, within the earth and, and that has posed uh, quite of a challenge for us. Resolving the issue call for company officials importing fill in an attempt to stabilize the land's clay soil. However, another issue presents itself on the ground, where the closely packed foundations of former homes in the mud lay scattered, haphazardly under debris. You find that um, with, with the mud, these, these buildings, the foundations were not built up to code, right? So what you have is a um, very small cluster of, of, of foundations with a lot of cesspits, um, you have gas tanks, um, um, the works that is out here. So it has to be a very meticulous task. Over the weeks, the company has amped up its workforce and heavy machinery to speed the process along. They are looking to soon add more equipment and more manpower. Another 18 pieces of heavy equipment, including dump trucks, excavators, skid stairs, grapple trucks, uh, dumpster bins, um, uh, you name it. And um, we have some additional equipment that's on the second wave or the third wave of equipment that's coming in. Companies awarded contracts to Claire, Debris, and Abaco were given three months to complete the work in their designated areas. Despite the many challenges and setbacks, however, Bahamas striping officials are confident that the target date will be met. Anthony Smith for ZNS Network News.